hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Adora today I'm going to show you how to soften your dried bitter leaves also called onubo you know for us that live in diaspora we usually bring it over in dried form but today I'm going to show you how you can always make it to look like fresh bitter leaves so continue watching So for those of us that live abroad, this is how we usually bring our bitter leaf over here because we can't bring in fresh produce. So we have to always like dry um, any fresh ingredients that we need to bring over. We need to dry it and bring it in dried form. So this is how my onobo is and this is what I do all the time. Like I like to process it in large quantity, put it in a ziplock bag and keep it in my freezer so that whenever I want to cook, I can just take one back and make use of. So this is how it looks like. Okay, even if you don't live um, abroad, you like you have access to fresh onobo, but you just want to know how I cook all this my bitter leaves. This is how I process it. So what I need is my baking soda. This is going to act as a tenderizer. Okay. You can also use a cow or ngo. So just about one tablespoon. Don't add too much. If you add too much, the bitter leaf is going to become extremely soft and it will dissolve in your soup. Okay. So soak the bitter leaf in water first. Just um, room temperature water for about just like 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes just to allow the bitter leaf to absorb water okay you don't have to leave it for a very long time next using a big pot add water and bring it to a boil then now this bitter leaf now has been soaking down for about 15 minutes and let me tell you one thing about this dry bitter leaf even if you like suck it from now till tomorrow or now till next month it is still going to be tough okay I mean very tough like very very tough even if you soak it or even if you cook it like ordinary like just cooking it in water it is going to be tough unless you use this method I'm going to share with you now so the method is remove the bitter leaves from the water and transfer into a colander So you need a plastic bag or a nylon bag. You can also make use of foil if if you can. Okay, well just make sure that like water doesn't enter inside. Okay, that's what you're trying to prevent. I'm going to use this plastic bags to put mine. So just divide the onubu into like small um, quantities. Don't put too much in a bag. So for this quantity, I'm trying to soften. Um, just going to divide them into two, um, two separate bags so in each bag just add in your tenderizer which is my baking soda noun if you are making use of account or ungo just need to just grind it into powdered form and then just sprinkle it inside the bitter leaf use your hand and rub it in just make sure that it comes in contact with all the bitter leaves after rubbing it in tie it put it into the pot of boiling water and let it steam for about 15 to 30 minutes Remember what I said earlier, do not add a lot. If you add too much tenderizer, this bitter leaf is going to become extremely soft and it will dissolve in your soup and it's not something that you, you will like, okay? Please, so be very careful and just be very stingy when it comes to adding the tenderizer. Do not add a lot, okay? It's better that it's a bit tough instead of being too soft because if it is too soft, Believe me, it's going to melt in the soup and you won't like it. So now I transferred them into my pot of boiling water 
cover and let them steam. Now this was after 25 minutes, see how my bitter leaves are steaming inside the pot and as you can see by the side that's my <laughs> that's my cocoa I'm cooking by the side because I want to use this onubo immediately to prepare very delicious bitter leaf soup okay so now it's time to wash this bitter leaf at this stage it is going to still feel and look hard but don't worry after the next step now this onubo is going to transform and become just like the fresh bitter leaves okay so what we are going to do now is to wash we are going to wash okay and washing this bitter leaf now will solve two problems one it is going to remove the tenderizer that we added and two it is going to remove the bitterness remove away all the bitterness from those bitter leaves okay so that is what we are going to do you know the normal way we wash our bitter leaves back home in Nigeria that is what we are going to do now just use your muscle use your power to squeeze the, the bitter leaves in between your palms okay rub it and you're gonna see it formed it is going to start forming then just um, transfer it to the colander change the water and continue squeezing until the bitter leaf becomes very um, water coming out from it becomes less black and the test becomes less bitter While washing the bitter leaves, know that there might be sand sediments um, at the bottom of your pan, especially if you made use of a cow or ungo. So please be very careful and try and wash it in such a way that you can um, be able to throw away the sediments. So at this stage my bitter leaf became very okay to my choice. It became less bitter. I don't like um even though it's called bitter leaf soup, but I don't like a lot of bitterness in it. Okay, I try to wash it several times and remove all the bitter taste as much as possible. So now look at how soft it is. Even the stalk you are seeing, they are now very soft. You can even like um, break them with your fingers. They are very, very soft and just perfect now. So what I do next is just to, um, after squeezing it, I I package it in a Ziploc bag and I store it in my freezer so that whenever I want to cook soup, I just like take one pack and just put it directly into the soup. I don't have to like go through this process all over again. I do this about like um. I do this um, one or twice in a year, store them in the ziplock bags and put in my of time and energy for me. So we can make use of this bitter leaf to cook your cocoa yam which is your egg there. You can also use it in your egusi soup on your obono soup recipe. It is very good and I hope you enjoyed this video. You can check out my other videos to find out how I made use of these vegetables in my soup recipes. I'm going to link those videos here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!